Mr. Speaker, I see hate. Mr. Speaker, I see bitterness. Mr. Speaker, I see acrimony. Mr. Speaker, I see animosity. And Mr. Speaker, I see a man completely out of control. Completely out of control, Mr. Speaker. That is what I see. And that problem is not a new problem to me, you know. I was aware of the tendency for the Honourable Member to go out of control since 1987. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003 as a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PNM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Udicott. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is ten times worse than what happened with Piaco Airport. And it's even more brazen. Opposition leader Kamla Pasad Bisesa says she has written to the Director of Public Prosecutions and the Acting Commission of Police calling on them to launch a criminal probe into the Prime Minister's involvement in the construction of the Church of the Lighthouse of Our Lord Jesus Christ in the Heights of Guanapo. The opposition says it has also written the Integrity Commission requesting an investigation into whether the Prime Minister violated the Integrity in Public Life Act 2000. These two letters we were sent, one to the Director of Public Prosecutions and one to the Acting Commissioner of Police. And I'll be asking, I've asked, I'm asking in these for a criminal investigation into the conduct of the Prime Minister in this matter under Section 3 of the Prevention of Corruption Act. At a press conference call at the opposition leader's office on Saturday, Basad Bisesa produced what she alleged were written correspondence between the Town and Country Planning Division, a local architect and Udicott chairman Calderhart, which indicate that the Prime Minister was providing guidance and direction in the design of the church. We have established without a shadow of a doubt on these, these documents that the Prime Minister is directly involved in that building and has been so from the early design stage of that of the church building. Pasad Bisesa also produced architectural drawings which she referred to as the outdoor stage project of the Prime Minister's residence but was never built at St. Anne's. She said instead an outdoor facility was constructed in 2009 costing $10 million. The opposition leader claims that the design of the church in Guanapo and the stage facility at the Prime Minister's residence is the same. She questioned whether the $30 million being used in the church's construction has been factored in the construction of the Prime Minister's residence. How then did a design for a church become the design for an outdoor stage project of the Prime Minister's house? Designed by the same company designing the Prime Minister's house for the same client, Udicott, for the same construction company, Shanghai. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sukram. Do your case. Everybody has a chance to do it. But not like my good friend. The minute you oppose my good friend, Mr. Speaker, the minute you oppose my good friend, he gets very, very angry. And if you oppose him strongly, Mr. Speaker, he becomes a raging bull. And that is what this government is not prepared to act. That is what it was. We just were not prepared to accept that. cannot call to order its prime minister and his cabinet and his political party to say we are not accepting that then god help us 